guys, for your PM learning video today, you're going to take out your monthly mini lessons packet again. And you're going to open up to page two. And on page two, you'll see it says popping into a new year. You're going to pull that page out of the packet. And then the page behind it, you're going to pull that out too. And then you can put your packet aside because those are the only things that you're going to need. So if you would like to color this, I would color it first uh, because once you cut it out, then we're going to use some glue. And once it has glue on it, then it's going to be hard to color. Okay. So I am going to cut this out. I'm not coloring mine just because I want it to go quickly for you. Um, and if you notice, there's like a little thing between the two balloons. Don't cut that part out. Cut around it so that they're still connected. See, like this. So leave this part here because we're going to be making a book. Okay, so just don't cut the balloons apart from each other. Make sure you throw your paper scraps in the recycle bin. Don't leave them on the floor. Now you've got this cut out and you're just gonna fold it on this little black line where it says fold. And your two halves should match up pretty well. So now I've got a little book here. Looks like this. Okay, you can set that aside. Now you're gonna take this paper and you're going to write uh, what your goal is. <clears throat> and the reasons why. So my goal is to cook dinner. Remember what we wrote yesterday is to cook dinner every night for one week I would like the like to do this because I want to spend more time with my family and save money from not eating out. Okay, so there is my whole, my whole story. My goal is to cook dinner every night for one week. I would like to do this because I want to spend more time with my family and save money from not eating out. Okay, and then I'm going to cut these out, glue them to the inside of my balloons. What I really should have said was my goal is to drink coffee at home at least five days a week because going to the coffee shop every day or every other day starts to add up. It starts not cheap. And it would be a great way for me 
save some money and be a little healthier because when I drink coffee at home, I don't put cream or anything in my coffee. I just drink it black. But when I go to the coffee shop, I always get something yummy that has a flavor in it and cream. Okay, so I've cut my first one out and I'm going to glue it into my balloon book. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue and I'm going to match up the balloon with the inside of the other balloon like this. See, I matched up the bottom so when I close my book, it doesn't stick out. And I've got to make sure you put the right balloon on the first inside page. So you're looking at your book like this, popping into a new year. Open it up and put your first page on the back side of that. And then put your second page across. So it looks like this. So then when I open my book, here's page one, and here's page two. And then you could write the end on the back if you want. The end. Or you could color it. It's up to you. When you're done with that, you're done with your mini lesson for today. And now we're going to take out our math books. Okay. Grade 1, Module 2. And we're turning to page 37. It says 37 right down here, little teeny tiny writing. So it says up at the top, first of all, we write our name. And then we put the date, 1-12-2021. And then it says solve. Use the number bonds or five group drawings if needed. Write the equal 10 plus number sentence. Okay, so from the four, I can split that into one and three. And I chose one and three because I looked at this other number. That number is nine, and I know that nine only needs one more to become 10. So now I have my problem is 10 plus 3 instead of 9 plus 4 or 4 plus 9. Okay, so 10 plus 3 is 13. 4 plus 9 is also 13. Okay. Number 2, 6 plus 8. If you split the 6 into 2 and 4, Then 8 gets the 2 and becomes 10, and you have 4 left over. So the problem changes from 6 plus 8 to 10 plus 4. So down here at the bottom, you could put a 4 in the blank, right here. And then 10 plus 4 is 14. And since we didn't take anything away or add anything, we just moved numbers around. We know that 6 plus 8 is also 14. Okay, and then do the same thing over here. But this one is a 7. So in order for 7 to be equal to 10, you have to give it 3 more. 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 3. So taking 3 out of the 4, so 3 goes here, how much is left over? If you have 4 apples and you give 3 of them away to someone, you have 1 left over. Okay, so this 4 becomes broken into 2 pieces. One piece has 3 apples and one piece has four, 1 apple. Those 3 go to the 7. So it becomes 10, and there's only one left over. So that goes here. And then 10 plus 1 is 11. And we didn't change. We didn't add or just subtract any numbers. We just changed them around. So we know that the answer 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay. And then down here, we're going to match the equal expressions. So 9 plus 2, or 9 plus 3 is the same as 10 plus 2. Excuse me. I need more coffee, apparently. Um, eight, five plus eight is the same as 10 plus three. Like that. And then nine plus six is the same as 10 plus five. So that's over here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. You finish yours. And then we will regroup. Take a few more moments, pause the video here if you're not done, and then when you are done,
look at mine and check your answers. Okay. When you're done with that, turn to page 38. And we're going to complete the addition sentences to make them true. All right. So you've got A, B, and C columns. Under the A columns, you have math problems, math equations that start with 9 or have a 9 in them. So 9 plus 2, 9 plus 5, 6 plus 9, 7 plus 9, 9 plus what equals 17, what plus 9 equals 15. So this is just kind of testing to see if you understand the 10 plus concept. So if you have nine apples for number five here, you can, and you have nine apples in your left hand, two, two apples in your right hand, you can take one of those two apples, give it to the nine, which equal to 10, and then 10 plus one is 11, okay? So that's one way to solve that problem. Nine plus five, if you take one out of the five and give it to the nine, that means you have four left over, so 10 plus four is 14. Okay. Go ahead and do the rest on your own. Nine plus six is 15, nine plus seven, 16, and then 9 plus what equals 17? Well, what you can do is you can get 17 of beans or rocks or Legos and then take 9 out of that number and whatever's left over is that missing piece, okay? So you can draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so here's my drawing. I've got 17 beans. And I'm going to just cross out 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to circle what's left over because that's the missing piece. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I took away the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 left over. 9 plus 8 equals 17. Does that make sense? Well, check it. Grab 9 Legos and 8 Legos, put them together. If it equals 17, then you know your numbers are correct. Okay? We do the same thing for number 10. What plus 9 equals 15? Okay? When you're done, you can check these answers with mine, and then we're going to move on to this. This is 8, B, 8 plus 4. Okay, so 8 plus 4. We know that if we split the 4 and we give 2 to the 8, that equals 10. So that means there's 2 left over. Okay, just like this. So 10, what's 10 plus 2? 10 plus 2 is 12. Now I've got 8 plus 3. The 8 needs 2 more. So if I take 2 out of 3, give it to the 8, that means I have 1 left over. So 10 plus 1 is 11. All right. 6 plus 8. If I split the 6, I take 2 out. That means that I have 4 left over. So it becomes 10 plus 4, which is 14. Eight plus five, same deal. Two and three. Eight plus three is thirteen. Eight plus how many is sixteen? And what plus eight equals fifteen? Okay. When you are done, check your work. You can pause this. Look at my page here. And then moving on to the sevens. So 7 plus 5. I know that if I take 3 out of the 5 and I give it to the 7, the 7 becomes 10 and my 5 becomes 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, the next one down is 7 plus 6. If I have 3 out of the 6, that means there's 3 left over. Okay, and if I give 3 to 7, that becomes 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So I took 3 and 3. 
3 goes to the 7, 3 stays here. This becomes 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 4, take 3 out, draw a little line, put a 3 there, that goes to the 7. Now if you take, let's say you have 4 apples, you take 3 out, you only have 1 left over, so that becomes 10 plus 1, which is 11. 7 plus 7, same deal, take 3 out of the 7. If you take 3 out of the 7, that means you have 4 left over. The 7 becomes 10 plus 4, which is equal to 14. I kind of rewrote it across the top there to make sense, because 3 goes to the 7, which becomes 10. 4 stays here, so the 7 becomes 4. So now your problem is 10 plus 4 is 14. 7 plus 7 is still the same quantity, it's just a different arrangement of numbers, so the answer is still 14. Okay, same thing down here, 16. So if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I just drew 16 beads because I know my hole here is 16. Seven of those are accounted for but we don't know what that missing piece is. So we have to take those seven out to see how many are left over, and that's what tells us the missing piece, okay? So let's take seven out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna circle the rest. So those seven are gone because we know those are accounted for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is the missing piece. 7 plus 9 equals 16. Okay, and then down here, you have something plus 7 equals 17. Okay, something plus 7 equals 17. Now, if you remember correctly over here, we know that the 10 plus 7 is 17, right? You can also draw 17, take 7 out, and see how many is left over, and that will tell you 10. But I know because of my groups of 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. All right? When you're done with that, you can pause this here to double check all your answers, make sure yours match mine, and then send me a thumbs up letting me know that you did it. Page 39 and 40 are your homework pages to be done on your own. All right, and that is your PM learning video for Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Stay tuned for your read aloud.